There's no question that Outlander is one of the most fascinating, crazy, adventurous, and weird shows on TV. It's a careful blend of horror, adventure, magic, fantasy, and romance that has fans hooked. So stay tuned and don't go away because today we're revealing the Outlander cast's real ages and life partners. First up, what's going on in Sophie Skelton's dating life? Let's find out. The 27-year-old British actor Sophie Skelton, who plays Brianna Randall on Outlander, is reportedly single. No one's sure who Sophie Skelton is dating now, but there have been rumors that she might be in a relationship with her on-screen husband, 39-year-old actor Richard Rankin. The actors have never officially confirmed, so at this point it's merely speculation. However, their fans hope some confirmation will come soon because they've been spotted traveling together several times. It's believed that 35-year-old actor Stanley Weber, who plays Comte de Saint-Germain, is currently single, and we haven't found any evidence to suggest the contrary. A while back, there were rumors about him and 34-year-old Scottish actor Karen Gillan dating back in 2013 and that they ultimately broke up. 31-year-old actor Nell Hudson, who plays Long Hair Mackenzie, is an adorable and talented actor who has been in a relationship with Will Taylor, the lead singer of the band Flight. The couple reportedly met in 2011 when Taylor's band was playing at the Jericho Tavern in Oxford and Hudson decided to make the first move even though he knew that Taylor was broke at the time. When they met, Taylor wasn't exactly wealthy either because his band hadn't become famous yet. The couple has an active social media presence and seem really happy together. Next up, what is Sam Hewen and Katrina Belf's dating life like? You're about to find out. Actors Sam Hewen and Katrina Belf, who play Jamie and Claire in Outlander, are known for their steamy, on-screen love life, so naturally, fans want to see if things are as hot in real life as they are on screen. And in a recent interview, Katrina said, We're not together. It's funny. We've always said from the get-go that we're incredibly great friends, but it would be hard to play lovers and date. Hewen is apparently dating actor Amy Shields from Twin Peaks, who attended the premiere of Hewen's film, The Spy Who Dumped Me. However, Shields and Hewen were not photographed together, and they have been friends for more than 10 years, so it's unlikely that they're dating. If we had to guess, Hewen is most likely single and keeping his options open, or he's keeping his love life a secret and out of the limelight. Belf has been in a relationship with Tony McGill for a while, though they kept their relationship out of the public eye for most part. In January, Belf revealed their engagement at the Golden Globe Awards. Hewen is currently 41 years old, and Belle, 42. Outlander fans have followed the epic love story of Jamie and Claire Fraser for the past few years now, and they can't get enough of the time-traveling storylines, the steamy sex scenes, and the actors who portray their favorite characters, so it makes perfect sense that they would want to know who these actors are dating in real life, right? Up next, who is the series antagonist Toby Menzies dating in real life? Let's, let's have a look. 47-year-old Toby Menzies plays the characters Frank and Jonathan Blackjack Randall and is a super, super talented actor, but if you're hoping to find out the personal details of his love life, you might have a tough time with that. Real tough time. Because Menzies leads an extremely private, and some have even said secret life, outside of the public eye, and that's just the way he likes it, unfortunately, for us. As a result, when it comes to Menzies' real-life partner, it's nearly impossible to find information. Menzies once dated actor Kristen Scott Thomas when the two started dating in a stage play in London back in 2005. Moving on, 61-year-old actor Graham McTavish is happily married and portrayed the top rugged Highlander character named Dougal McKenzie for the first two seasons of Outlander. McTavish traveled to Scotland with Hewitt for their new series, Men in Kilts. However, McTavish is actually from New Zealand and has a noticeably thick English accent. McTavish lives with his loving wife Gwen and their two children in a gorgeous place called Central Ortega, located in New Zealand. It's unknown how long they've been married because, like Menzies, McTavish prefers to keep his personal life private. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're bringing you the latest info on the cast of this incredible show. Be sure to watch until the end because we're going to reveal what Sam Hewen's mom thinks about his steamy scenes. First up, who's dating who exactly? Well, let's take a look. Another Outlander star who likes to keep things on the down low is 39-year-old Lot Verbeek, who played Galis Duncan on the show. She's recently posted pics on Valentine's Day, but didn't give fans any hints about who she's dating. 38-year-old actor David Barry became a dad during his run on Outlander, and if you recall, Barry plays the extremely popular Lord John Gray, one of Jamie's closest friends and confidants. And although Barry hasn't found romance on screen in real life, he's married to Christina Tessick. Together, they welcomed a son named Alexander, who was 
was born in 2016 on the same day Barry returned home to Australia after wrapping up season 3 of Outlander. Barry said, I remember when my son Alexander was born. I started calling him Little Lord Barry. He wears that name a little bit now. Another happily married Outlander star is 41-year-old Stephen Cree, who played Ian Murray. Cree is married to casting director Kathleen Crawford. It's not clear how long they've been married, or if they have any kids. One of the only positive things about the pandemic for many of the cast members is that it gave them the opportunity to spend some downtime with their families and take some much-needed time off from their hectic work schedules. Next up, what's the latest news about the series itself? Let's find out. Big Outlander news pretty much broke the internet this week with fans sharing their excitement, uber excitement about the series lasting for another two seasons. Many fans shared their thoughts about things they would like to see in the upcoming seasons. One fan wrote that they would like to see Belle direct an episode, which is something she said she's always wanted to do. The fan said, excited to watch you and really excited to hopefully see you make your directorial mark. Thank you for your excellent work. Another fan hopes that Laura Donnelly would be returning as Jenny during season seven, but unfortunately it looks like season six is probably off the table since she's starring in a new HBO series. The Stars Network says it's committed to investing in Outlander and will continue to be behind Outlander all the way till the end. As you might know, Diana Gallatin's book series will feature 10 books in total, with the ninth book coming anytime soon. Unless something absolutely unexpected happens, it looks like fans will most likely get 10 seasons of Outlander before the series is over. But it's still too early to tell. Up next, what does the Stars Network have to say about the future of their hottest series? Well, let's have a look. In an official statement, been released by the Stars Network, Stars said, Stars is committed to investing in unapologetic, bold premium storytelling that amplifies diverse voices and shines through a spotlight on women in front of and behind the camera through our hashtag Take the Land initiative. The hit series Outlander embodies everything about our initiative, including a powerful female lead character and an amazing team of storytellers. Fans are wondering which book Season 7 will be based on, and in response to Stars 12 episode order for Season 7, executive producer Matthew B. Roberts said they're excited for the opportunity to to expand the show. Robert said, We're so excited Stars has given us the opportunity to continue the epic Outlander journey. We can't wait to get into the writer's room and start breaking Echo in the Bone and look forward to giving the fans another season of this exhilarating story. Outlander Season 7 could pull storylines from more than one book and Roberts referred to Gavelton's seventh book title, Echo in the Bone, when talking about Season 7. But you could see storylines from Book 8 as well, titled Written in My Own Heart's Blood. Finally, how does Sam Hewen's mother feel about her son doing such, well, racy love scenes. You're about to find out. In a recent interview, Ewan spoke about his mother and said she's very, very proud of the show. But I think she does probably fast forward most of those scenes. The cast and crew of Outlander are currently shooting season 6 and there's a lot of Jamie and Claire's story left to tell. But fans will have to wait and see where the TV series goes. Season 6 of Outlander is expected to premiere on Stars in late 2021 or early 2022. If you want to binge the show from the beginning, seasons 1 through 5 are available on Amazon Prime Video. On screen, Ewan and Belle play a husband and wife who have a passionate marriage and relationship, but off screen, Hewen says they're more like siblings, and he and Belle keep in touch regularly during the lengthy Outlander production hiatus through the pandemic. Hewen said, We keep in contact a lot. We met up last week in the park, two meters apart, of course, but it was nice to see her. We're like brother and sister now. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.